There are few wardrobe choices as iconic and timeless as the Little Black Dress, affectionately known as LBD. Stars have been wearing iterations of the Little Black Dress for nearly a century, but how did this chic fashion staple come to be? In 1926, Vogue introduced the world to Coco Chanel's sketch of an elegant, simple sheath dress called the Ford. Mademoiselle Chanel wore the dress herself, a now iconic black and white profile image in which she's seen smoking. As if an endorsement by Coco wasn't enough for the LBD, and apparently it was, as evidenced by the army of people, including modern day celebs who keep the look alive and fresh, the dancer, singer, and actress Josephine Baker famously donned a similar dress in 1930, but in fabulous Baker style, hers was adorned with peacock feathers. The LBD had become something of a high fashion in the 1920s and 30s, and it managed to endure through the Great Depression of the 1940s. Its simplicity and the basic silhouette of the dress made it appealing in a time of economic crisis. Indeed, it was in the 40s that singer Edith Piaf made the little black dress her trademark style. After the war, Christian Dior took over the legacy of the little black dress, creating the now ubiquitous Dior cinch waist. When you think of Marilyn Monroe, you might think of a certain white dress, but Marilyn did more to put the little black dress in the public eye. Through the 50s, Marilyn's collection of dresses brought sensuality to the LBD and proved that actually it's a little black dress that's a girl's best friend. Perhaps the most iconic little black dress in pop culture, however, is the Givenchy dress worn by Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly in the 1961 movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. If you didn't grow up thinking this was how you dress every day when you were big, you were doing childhood wrong. Through the 60s, Sophia Loren and Liza Minnelli carried on the legacy of the timeless LBD. By the 1970s, however, the little black dress got a rebellious makeover thanks to rock queen Debbie Harry. This is where the little black dress really started living up to the little in its name. Nearly 30 years after Breakfast at Tiffany's, model Iman stepped out in a throwback LBD that 80s-ified the classic Givenchy look. But where the little black dress really shone was in the 90s. From Elizabeth Hurley's infamous Versace safety pin dress to Princess Diana's scandal creating a tiny black dress in 1994, there was no way pop culture could unsee the LBD in the 90s. The most famous LBD of the 90s, however, was the little Gucci dress made iconic by the Spice Girls' Victoria Beckham, aka Posh Spice. In a cute skit in the cinematic masterpiece Spice World, the other Spice Girls make fun of Posh's limited wardrobe options, but considering the LBD has endured while platform sketchers and leopard print tube tops have not, I'd say Posh Spice is having the last laugh when it comes to posting throwback Thursday pics. Through the 2000s, the little black dress stayed little, with Kate Moss famously stepping out in 2002 in a barely there LBD that's continued to inspire naked fashion ever since. The LBD is a forever wardrobe staple. With something so easy and so chic, so tried and true, you'd wonder why anyone bothers experimenting with other styles. No one's talking about the legacy of Kim Kardashian's floral couch dress from the Met Gala, for instance. But we'll try to emulate the Kardashians in all little black dresses any day of the week.